What's up everybody, Lord Arntech here today. Sorry for the shadow as I moved my desk up into my bedroom. So, I have a little bit of a shadow, so now I need to deal with this, I guess, if I'm going to make videos at night. So, some people have asked me, well, what kind of binders do you have? And I have two. I have this binder, and I have my other binder. Let me reach it real quick. That's my standard binder. This here is my, as I'll call it, modern slash legacy binder. And there are some cards in here, obviously, that are in my affinity deck. Um, obviously, my Mox Opals and such that are not in here. But I just wanted to quickly show you um, what I'm growing my collection as. And, you know, cards that I want to hold on to, I think, that are going to increase in value. Some finance stuff and stuff like that. Um, I still am playing with the the, uh, the stock market thing. I was thinking about having investors and you guys investing and kind of like the real stock market, but doing it with magic cards. So, without further ado, let's open up to the first page. So, obviously we have our standard shock lands, uh, we have our sacred foundries and our hallowed fountains. Um, I eventually want to trade my gate crash ones into regular original Ravnica's, so. I have a lot of shock lands, as you see, there's page two, steam vents, uh, I have six of them now in that pretty cool Tom Ross uh, token. I've got, my, oh, sorry, pumped the camera, got all the shrines, Blood Crips. Um, and I basically I kind of color coordinate my uh, binders. Um, this is uh, the left side here. Let me just kind of slide this over here. So on the left here, I you know have some black, and um, on the right side I have some blues. I got some Taxium probes, original Ravnica remains in awesome condition near your mint. Um, this page here, I got some reds, um, some Ash Elliots, some Legion Loyalists, this Christian Demons, Underworld Connections, more black on this page. I'm getting some fun stuff, Supreme Verdicts, um, some Sphinx's Revs, uh, I have six Abrupt Decays, um, I'm debating if I want to trade them up into foils or just, um, numbers, you know, playing more by the numbers, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, we have more blue-black, some Night Vale Spectres, a couple Planeswalkers, Karn, uh, as soon as they announced Modern Masters 2, um, I was going, I was acquiring them at $30 a piece, I've stopped and I sold them all but one, I don't know if the market's going to bring Modern Masters 2 at a $40 Planeswalker, I mean Nissa was at 40 bucks. she dropped, Sarkham was at 40 bucks. she dropped, Karn obviously is good in Tron and a couple other modern decks, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure if he sees any play in Legacy, so I'm not sure. And, you know, just just a you know, part of my collection, I have a uh, signed Tameo. Um, I like her, actually, if I ever could find out a deck to play her, and I would. Um, here we have my artifacts. Um, uh, I am an artifact whore. I love artifact decks. Um, you know, the Mind Slaver, because um, I'm be building um, Control Tron, you know, Worm Coils, Chalice of the Voids. Platinum Angels, these will all go into control. Tron, Lotus Petals, I just acquired. So, Pithing Needles, I think Lotus Petals are pretty fun to play with. Uh, I have my, you know, I have my four Charles Rush Metalik's autographed. I have my Kenry Ruins, um, some Nacre Amoebas. Um, working on building uh, Legacy Dredge. Um, I don't, you know, unfortunately being out of work right now. I'm gonna have to get into Legacy Cheap, so my biggest cost is gonna be the Lion Eye, Lion's Eye Diamonds. So I may trade some of my collection to get it. I'm not too sure yet. So this is the green page, blue page, um, you know, of my binders. You know, more shocks, repeals, you know, more blue, some multicolors, Naya, is it, you know, on the same page here. Um, more shock lands. I have quite a few shock lands. I mean, I don't have a lot of shock lands, but I do have, you know, a decent number more in the place that I'm want to try to get at least two or three places of each before I think that they'll um they'll they'll probably get to about twenty and I think they'll hold about twenty bucks in value. That's just what I'm thinking. Here we have some more. I you know this is an interesting game uh, card slaughter games. Um, I don't know if it really sees any play in modern. Uh, Dreadbore, I, I like it. It I, it'd obviously be worth a lot more in uh, Rakdos colors if it was instant speed. Uh, here we got our Detention Spears, uh, a card I wish, and this is one of my favorite cards, I love this card, Deathrite Shaman. They ever unbanned in modern, ever, and I think, you know, the Combat Delver, this would be a good thing, but this is like a Planeswalker in modern. Um, he, I guarantee you, if he ever got unbanned in modern, he'd spike the immediately to 30 bucks a pop, so right now he's sitting at about 10 bucks. 
um, more black cards. I got a single watery grave, you know, some other things that I'm working on for Legacy. You know, I know these are the new Commander set because I'm cheesy like that because I couldn't find original ones. But uh, as I build my Legacy deck on, make sure I get the original, the oldest cards possible. And then we have just two more cards, just Faithless Looting. That's just for my, um, oh, in the back page here because I'm a land whore and I like to collect pretty lands. Um, I have mountains in these too and stuff like that, so that is my, so I'll call it Legacy slash Modern Binder. I will, be, um, I will have a standard binder come out, but I have so many different decks that I have to pull a lot of my things apart to put all the, you know, all the value and good cards back into it, so <laughs> I'll show you a little other project I was working on. Not project, but uh, that's a stack of bulk about over a foot high, just to give you proximity of how much bulk it is. <laughs> a lot of foils and stuff I found laying around, but, you know, this is what I'm sorting to sell back to my local game store. <laughs> bulk, that's about, about five, six hundred cards there, if not a little more. Um, you know, obviously with Fate coming out, um, I want to get a case, so, you know, again, financials are tight, so getting rid of as much bulk as possible and any cards of value I'm um, selling too so back to the game store for now so um, I do appreciate everybody's support uh, you know MTG headquarters again his play mat um, I know you all probably have seen him if not go check him out best best the best on YouTube has to offer um, he's a good guy very nice to me uh, support on me. I know that he's referred some of you guys here, so I do want to, you know, quickly say thank you to him. Jeremy, you're a great guy, and I appreciate you. I'm not drawing myself on camera today because I just don't. Maybe next time. Um, I am going to start streaming, but I won't start streaming Magic the Gathering online. I don't want to really sink it in there, but I will probably start streaming some Titanfall and some other games. So, uh, with my <laughs> unwanted new free time, um, I'll start doing that. So, this is Lord Artek. Everybody. I will talk to you probably this weekend. I'm going to do maybe a triple pack opening of something, and um, I'll get you guys soon. Um, real quick, you know you know what? Uh, I just decided this. I'm going to do a giveaway, and the giveaway is going to be three packs of something in a new set, whether it's cons or something in standard. Um, comment, like it, share it, and what I'll do is I will do a live stream, and we'll choose a winner. I know it's not a lot, but it's three packs. So, all right, I will um, type it up. I'll render this video. I'll submit it, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Talk to you guys later.